Hello, I'm Nancy Fraser, and I'm a feminist theorist and philosopher. I teach at the New School for Social Research in the Philosophy and Politics Department. And I am observing uh, the situation in the Middle East, and above all, the U.S. government's very threatening attitude toward Iran with a lot of concern and um, unhappiness. I'm um, very concerned that the U.S. not get into yet another war. We've had quite enough, thank you. And um, I don't believe that uh, there's, uh, the reasons that are being advanced uh, by our government here uh, are actually legitimate justifications for, for threatening Iran. Um, I think it's fantastic that Iranian women and women's groups and feminist organizations are uh, organizing and promoting a, an international dialogue about questions of war and militarism. This is a problem throughout the globe and uh, in, in the Middle East and, and Gulf uh, specifically. And as I suggested, I think that um, the role of the United States in promoting uh, militarism and arms sales and threats and blackmail uh, across the globe is a huge part of the problem. Uh, so we in the United States have a lot of work to do to try to influence our government to adopt a more respectful attitude internationally to other peoples and to other govern governments. Um, war is a deeply gendered phenomenon. Um, it promotes a culture of machismo and uh, the ma resurrects the stereotype of the masculine warrior. It constructs women as those who have to stay home and be protected by the men. And in that way, it harms the sense of women as actors and agents uh, in society. Um, it creates terrible hardships for everyone. Uh, but uh, above all for um, uh, women and children who are, um, have to, you know, somehow make life go on under uh, very bad conditions. And there's been an historic link for many centuries uh, throughout the world between women and peace. I don't think that um, it's because women are inherently more peaceful by nature than men. But um, women have mobilized against war um, and claim to bring another set of values and virtues, more peaceful values and virtues. It, it would be a shame if this kind of organizing reinforced stereotypes about aggressive men versus peaceful women. I don't think such stereotypes are useful. But nevertheless, from a strategic point of view, it's a good way of organizing. And um, I thoroughly support the um, initiatives and, uh, and dialogues being promoted by uh, Iranian women's groups around this question.